Hey guys, welcome to another Jaffo Paints video. There's still massive darkness figures to paint. Let's do this guy. Who is this guy, you ask? It is Ajax, the sorcerer, a necromancery type of guy. So here we go. Stick him under the uh, micro microscope, so to speak, there. Let me back that up just a little bit. Alright, so we got this guy right here. Looks pretty freaking cool, I think. Let's go over the paints we're thinking about using today. <clears throat> um, grab the right ink. Oh no, I wanted the black. That's right. That's right. Alright. So for base coats today, we've got corn red, retributor armor, which is always as always our favorite gold color. Lead belcher, you know that. That's our metals. A bed in black, that's going to be anything we're going to do black, of course. And some XV-88. Those are, oh, I lied. And Wreckarth Flesh. Those are our base coats. For inks today, we've got Nuln Oil. We've got Reichland Flesh Shade. For follow-up layer paints, we've got Wazdaka Red and Squig Orange. Yep, new, new color for us today, Squig Orange. We've got... Iron Breaker and Ashen Gray. And finally, Pallid Witch Flesh and White Scar. So we are going to start, as we always do, with the largest piece first. Just because, you know, let's get it out of the way. The largest piece for this guy. We're going to be using a bat in black. We're going to do all of his... Well, I guess let's call it his armor, because it's he's a clothy in the world of uh, role-playing. He is a wizard, so we are going to do all of his cloth. Uh, when you get in there, right about there, where my brush is pointing to, those are two metal strips, as you can see located on the card right there. We will be doing those in lead belcher. He does not have the gold tan lines or the gold uh, filigree running through there. That will be our option to put in. He also does not have the insignia on his bib. That'll be our option to put in as well. So, we begin with a bat in black. I have it going. I'll clean it all up. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. There we go. We painted pretty much our entire model black. And I'm sure you're asking, Jaffo, why didn't you just paint it or prime it black? Um, and that a lot, of, a lot of that has to do with A. I wasn't thinking what he was when I painted it or primed him. And B, it's still going to be easier to put those flesh tones over gray than it is over black. So, I always think about my flesh tones and that. And black always goes over everything else. So once you got your guy like this, grab yourself your null oil. Make sure you get a good shake in it and it's all uh, mixed up and you get some of the sediment off the bottom. And we're going to just ink the entire cloak and that will get it all into the recesses and fill up any of the gaps that you missed. I also did shoes, if you can see them, in the dark, inky blackness of nothingness. <laughs> um, so we got that for you. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to switch over <coughs> Excuse me. to... Uh, actually, I think I'm going to start over on, onto his uh, flesh tone. So I'm going to prep this. And I'm going to finish inking this, and I'll be right back. There we go. We now have our ink applied, as well as our Rakarth Flesh, which is going to be our base coat for that flesh. Um, I'm going to real quickly grab our Reichland Flesh Shade, as you can see in the background there. We'll prep it and get ready to go. We are going to cover him up <clears throat> Excuse me, in uh, Rakarth, or Reichland Flesh Shade. That'll give kind of a cherry wood color to his skin. Which, don't worry, we're going to brighten that up because he has such ashy looking skin. I don't know if that's a color name. I don't know. Whatever. Ashy. I said ashy, so YouTube don't dem don't demonetize me. Wait, I'm not monetized. Never mind. <coughs> Who cares what I say? Um, <coughs> just want to lightly go over that. And once you're brush is clean just kind of pull any of the excess you don't want too much on this one you just want just enough to kind of help it bring out uh, 
some of the some of the look to it. All right. In all honesty, we are we're already nearing pretty much the uh, the beginning of the end for a quick version of this model. Um, I think let's do the focal point next. So the focal point is going to be the corn red, and that we're going to use on his bib and bat winged helmet. So I'm gonna prep that, and start clean, start cleaning that up for you guys, and I will show you what that looks like in a second. Be right back. There we go. We now have his helmet and his. I, I guess I'm calling it a bib. It, it, it looks like a bib. We're just calling it a bib. I think bib is cool. Um, we got. I got my XV88 prepped, so we can do the next big chunk on his body, and that's of course all of his packs. So he's got some pouches there, some pouches there. Uh, I'm going to use this for a, the belt that's holding on the metal. He's got a pouch there. He's got what looks to be almost like a pistol pouch here. And pistol pouch there. So it's a good chunk of that metal. Oh, by the way, I also realized... Whoa, as I drop the whole camera on you guys... get it to focus there's a cute little undead skull thing and like thingy looking right there so I figured we'll grab some Xandra dust Agrax Earthshade Ushapti bone we'll hit that guy up make him look all fancy the gold we're gonna use for the uh, feathers up here so I'm gonna get to work on these uh, bags and I'll clean that all up and I'll be right back there we go. We've got all of the. Wow, my brain shut down. Sorry, guys. All of the leather done on him. So now we're going to go back into our bag of uh, null oil. We're going to hit the red and the leather with null oil to darken them all up. You do want to make sure that you don't let it pool like that. So, you know, put a blob on and then just pull it right back off. Or pull most of it off. You just want some on there. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to null oil all of this. And then I've also got prepped on my table my lead belcher. So I'm going to do the staff, the front of his armor belt, and then there's two little metal strips. <coughs> so we're going to get all that done. And... Yeah, I'll be right back. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, we've got all of our silver applied. We've got our null oil applied to our red and tanned leather. We're coming down to the home stretch. And I decided to make another, let's call it on the fly judgment call. I'm going to grab my Steganon Scale Green. And I'm going to use that for our uh, sword sheath there. I grabbed my Xandri dust on my palette. I'm going to put that up on my skull. And then I grabbed my Retributor armor. I'm going to do all of the feathers of the skull, the little um, connector piece from the skull to the pole, as well as like some of the banding on the sword here. So I'm just going to quick go burst, bust that all up, and I will be right back to show you what that looks like. All right, there we go. With that, we pretty much have a, you know, a pretty good-looking dude. I know he would add lots of awesomeness to your field, um, or to your to your tabletop. But of course, you know, that's not our way to finish right there, now is it? So, once we have our gold and our dust and our uh, Stegodon scale green, well, first we're gonna ink that skull to kind of give it a little bit more depth. So we'll put that on there real quick. We use our Agrax Earthshade. And go all the way around with that. And that just gives that that uh, skull just a little bit more personality and kind of shows off his smiling, smiling little teeth. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some paper towel. You should always have some paper towel nearby, unless you're trying to film and make it look good on your t on your uh, YouTube channel, like I am. Get yourself your Eschen Gray. Grab yourself a uh, 
small dry brush. Looks something like that. And we're going to dry brush some Eschen Gray all over his uh, robes. So you want to get until you're almost. No uh, paint is on there. And you just want to give his robes a quick dry brush. And that will add a lot more depth of character to it. So I'm just going to go around and kind of give him all a dry brush. And I'll show you right what that looks like when we're done. Okay, with your first dry brush done of that Eschen Gray, it's kind of brought some depth and light. Just a nice change of colors for him. Um, next one we got for you, some Waz Dacca Red. We're going to use that for the bib and helmet. You just want to, well, there's not as much depth of character as I thought there was. So we're just going to kind of edge this on here um, as far as his helmet well we'll edge the bat wings uh, towards the center it looks like he's like very shiny so we're just gonna give him almost like a V on his forehead See this? I'm just kind of give him a V of light. Um, so we do the edge, edge all the bat wings. Just want to kind of run it down the veins and towards the forehead. Again, edge the veins and then down towards the forehead on the back side of it. You want to get all of the, the, let's call it the puffy part of the wings. Leaving the shadow in the dark, in the full creases. That'll brighten that up a little bit. And then here, you want to get this again on the same thing. You also want to try and not drink a whole large coffee when you're painting this and do it really fast so that the caffeine is rushing through your body. Which, you know, that's what I did this morning when I, before I filmed this. I jammed a very large, very heavy sugar and sweetened coffee so that I could be awake to film this for you guys. Um, that's me, my personal life, whatever, it's cool. But again, we'll do this one, that one, that. We'll just kind of bring that down into there. So something kind of like that. Probably put a little bit of paint up towards the top. In fact, we'll turn most of the whole thing like that. So there we go. We'll let that dry while that's working. Let's move on to a Shabti bone. And we're just going to touch the uh, little bits of the skull, leaving the ink in the recesses of the teeth, the eyes, the nose socket. So I'm going to clean that all up and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We now have our Shabti bone on that skull and it's nice and bleached white with its dank, dark teeth. Um, I also went ahead and did my usual touch up on my leather. <clears throat> and you've seen me do that once before. But now, let's move on to the next color. Next color is Pallid Witch Flesh. Pallid Witch Flesh is a pretty white, white color. Hopefully this will be the color that we need and we won't have to go up any higher. But we're going to use this to paint on uh, Ajax's skin and give it that real white ashy look. So, hopefully this doesn't look like complete, but if it does, I'll fix it. We're right back, guys. And there we go. We now got our creepy, I don't know, undead-looking dude. It's nice ashen white uh, skin. Kind of a guy who really shouldn't be in the party as a hero. But hey, who am I to judge? Um, the next color that we got for you 
I guess we'll move to uh, our iron breaker. This one's a real simple one, so I'll show you it while we're going here. A little bit of this. No. <laughs> um, I'm just going to do an edge highlight, real light, just to kind of give a little sheen to his uh, awesome looking belt piece. You know, wizard can only have so much armor before it uh, bothers him and his magical institutes and stuff. We'll brighten up those little uh, belt buckles there, or whatever the heck those are. I don't know. Holds on his girdle, I guess. And put some shine onto his uh, staff here. And that's that's it. We got one more color to go through. Actually, I got three on my palette here, but I got one more or two more that I'm going to do. Next, we'll do the squig orange. And all we want to do here is just real fine highlights towards the front. Nope. Like real fine highlights, almost like tip highlights, just to kind of give it a, a light look, that bright fluorescent. Now, if you want to be fancy, you can try to etch his, uh, that little pentagrammy looking thing, the devil symbol in there. I can tell you right now, my hands are not steady enough this morning to try and do that. So I'm not going to. Uh, um, so then the last two colors that I have on my palette are White Scar and Dawnstone for our base. White scar, you literally just need a small tip of that. I'm just going to kind of put it on his nose, which is always the sharpest high point on there. It's almost so bright you don't even notice it. And then for the Dawnstone, it's going to be the base. So I will clean that all up, and I will be right back and give you the final overall view of my Ajax. And there we go. We have the completed Ajax formula, or Francis, or whatever. Sorry for the Deadpool reference, my bad. Um, this guy would make an awesome addition to your tabletop. If I wasn't, like, kind of vibrating the whole time I'm painting this guy, I would honestly try to add his uh, pentagram to it. <clears throat> you could probably very easily do it with the uh, squig orange layer paint. You, just pen you would just pencil it in there, um, and then I would actually... Uh, probably go even higher there are a couple of other oranges you can use i have in my bag for other things that i do troll slayer orange fire dragon bright just to name a few actually that's really it so just to name two more um and you just would do uh progressive highlights like we've sh like i've shown you before and each time you highlight the squig orange you would kind of get a little bit smaller as far as what what you're highlighting to just kind of differentiate. Um, if you like this miniature, please uh, hit that like button down below. If you're not a, not a uh, follower of me, subscribe. I throw up one of these videos every Monday, uh, trying to get a regular schedule. And if you are still too uh, unmotivated to paint, let's call it, not lazy. Lazy is a bad word. Just unmotivated. I have now started my own painting studio uh, where I will sell commission pieces. Please check it out. Uh, located on Facebook. The link will be in the description below. And that's what I got for you today. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.